Another pregnancy exercise that will help you feel great is squats. So you're gonna put your feet maybe slightly wider than you normally would because you need room for your belly when you go down. So it's hinge hip to backward, body stays more upright, and you're gonna inhale down and exhale up. For the side view, make sure that your knees are gonna go forward a little bit, but you don't want it to be a knee exercise. You want it to be a leg exercise and the knees are just a hinge that let your body move naturally up and down without discomfort. One of the reasons that squats are so great in pregnancy is that your feet are equally on the ground. During pregnancy, split leg exercises, like split squats or lunges, they're not for everyone. Sometimes it causes more pelvic pain than it's gonna help. But you don't know until you try it, perhaps. But for most people, squats are really, really comfortable. And if you're in good shape already, or you've been exercising during pregnancy and you're getting in better and better shape, don't hesitate to add weight. Because something really important to remember is that just because you're pregnant doesn't mean you're made of glass. You can improve your fitness. You can get in better shape. The main thing we want to avoid is uh, getting extremely, extremely out of breath. So we don't want to get really, really hot or extremely out of breath. So you can hold weights like this, up at the shoulders and just do your squats like that. Or if you have a weight around that you want to use that's a little heavier, you can hold it in a goblet position. And the same thing. Inhale down and exhale up. And just make sure that you can pass that talk test like I'm doing now. I'm a little out of breath. I'm uh, having to work a little harder to talk, but I'm able to keep talking in full sentences. So it's a great idea when you're pregnant to um, maybe exercise with a partner and converse so you can see how out of breath you're actually getting.